Shortly after I dropped the Alpha 2 demo of Bloody Knuckle Street Boxing, I was playing Undisputed when I randomly discovered that it was made in Unity. All this time I thought it was made in Unreal because of the graphics. But I stand corrected. This knowledge has definitely sparked my interest as to what methods they may have used to implement certain game mechanics. So sit back, relax, while I use my knowledge of the Unity engine and the sport of boxing to compare Bloody Knuckle Street Boxing to Steel City and the Raptors Undisputed. The biggest selling point of Undisputed is their revolutionary movement system that utilizes realistic footwork through motion capture. I have no knowledge of how Steel City Interactive implemented their movement system, but fighting with mine for three years has given me pretty good insight on what they may have done. Devlog 8 is when I made the bold decision to attempt my own innovative movement system. This movement system was inspired by Namco's Urban Rain, which may be the most underrated combat game ever made. Before this, my movement system was identical to most boxing games you've ever played, including Undisputed. This movement system can be implemented with a simple 2D blend tree. Within this blend tree, you have an idle stance that lies in the center, representing the joystick dead zone, and four or more movement animations that correspond with the X and Y values of your joystick input. The only separation that could be made with this implementation is the animations themselves, which is why Undisputed looks so impressive. If I'm right, then I will be correct in my assessment that my movement system is far superior to theirs. And it also poses the question, is their movement system really that impressive? Or is it just a rescan of the same game that we've been playing since the 90s? There's that Ali jab again, blocking the attack. Great hook. Nice uppercut. <laughs> the revolutionary movement system of Bloody Knuckle Street Boxing uses manual pivoting with adjustable target assistance in a camera relative scheme. The latest addition to that movement system is pressure sensitive ducking that is controlled by the input values of your left trigger. Refer to Devlog 14 for a more detailed explanation. Similar to my original movement system, this system is also run by a blend tree. The difference is, this new blend tree has many layers within it and each layer has its own blend tree that is responsible for something different. There's also seamless stance switching and a skill-based implementation of loose movement. This implementation utilizes the rapid input of traditional dash mechanics. Undisputed has these features as well. The only difference is that you're forced to stop all movement and defensive input to initiate either of these two actions, making you vulnerable to your opponent's next attack. One of the most unique aspects of my movement system is that it's seamless due to its lack of the vacuum effect. What's the vacuum effect, love? See? I'm glad you asked. Have you ever noticed when playing Undisputed 
that standing too close to your opponent reduces your movement speed dramatically? You may have also noticed that it's nearly impossible to escape this force field by simply retreating. It's almost like they try to simulate a clinch without actually using clinch animations. The only outside influence of your movement in Bloody Knuckle Street Boxing is the adjustable target assistance that only activates when your opponent is in range and in your field of view. If the fighters end up too close to each other, they will engage in a realistic animation-free clinch that is influenced by nothing other than physics. Your movement speed remains intact, allowing you to make a decision to fight in the pocket or retreat. The only game I've seen come close to what I've created is Boxer's Road, which I really can't confirm because I've never played it. With that being said, this movement system is ever evolving as I gain more experience and explore the curiosity that birthed my pressure sensitive duck mechanic. Just imagine what I could do with motion capture. That's it for the video, man. I hope y'all boys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, make sure you leave a dislike, man. And I just want to know that you're here. Don't forget to give me your thoughts in the comment section and let me know what undisputed mechanic you want me to take a crack at next. Thank you.